welcome to the Actuary Magic Channel. I'm Steve the Actuary. Today we're talking about Edgar Markov, but before we get into that, I'm doing a 30 day 30 commander challenge where I post a new commander every day. So come back tomorrow, we'll have another commander. Anyway, let's talk about Edgar. Oh my goodness, he's the hotness. He is the hotness. He is a six drop, a black, red, and white, four, four. Don't let that fool you. He's a vampire knight who's here to party. Anyway, so he has eminence which is a dumb mechanic. Wizards, please stop. And he say, whenever you cast another vampire spell, if Edgar Markov is in the command zone or on the battlefield, you get a 1-1 black vampire creature token. As first strike in haste, and whenever he attacks, put a 1-1 counter on each vampire you control. So you can just build this guy as a regular old vampire commander and just put every vampire you have in your collection in the deck and just be like, I got win. I got win. Anyway, so let's talk about this dude because he's silly. <laughs> okay, okay. Just just throwing it out there. A 1-1 one, one for just doing anything you would normally do is really good. And I'll talk to, to you about it. why. All right, so number 5A is just our normal captains. So we have a 2-2, two, two, 1 red, 1 black, 1 generic Stromkirk captain. Vampire soldier. He says, first strike, other creatures, other vampire creatures you control have, get plus one, one, and have first strike. Yes, please. Thank you. Captivating vampire, he's recently gone up in value a lot. It's a double black, one generic, two, two. Other vampires you control get plus one, one. Sweet. Tap five untapped vampires you control, which isn't going to be a problem. Gain control of target creature. It becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. This is... Let's steal your stuff. If I just resolve these two guys here, I've got four vampires. And I'm just like one away from another vampire and just start taking stuff. Everybody's like the best thing. Like the commanders. Start stealing commanders, people will hate it. All right, number five, be more of that. Cordial Vampire is a double black. Vampire is 1-1. One, one. It says whenever a Cordial Vampire or another creature dies, put a 1-1 counter on each vampire you control. So that's just good business, especially whenever we get into number four. You'll see why. Vampire Nocturnus. Oh, this dude. This dude was cool whenever he was printed and everybody wanted to play him in standard at the time. Triple Black, one generic, 3-3 three, three vampire. Play with the top card of your library revealed. As long as the top card of your library is black, Vampire Nocturnus and other vampire creatures you control get plus 2-1 and have flying. The best, like, lord you can have for this deck is Vampire Nocturnus. It's good. Now, number four on our list. Is anyone surprised? I'm not surprised. It's Skull Clamp. Skull Clamp is a one generic equipment and size. We'll equip for one. A quick creature gets plus one, minus one. Whenever a quick creature dies, draw two cards. All those little tokens you're getting for free, basically. Now you can just draw two cards with them. Heck yeah, for one generic mana. Awesome. But let's talk about, let's get that combat damage in. And I've been talking about this card a lot recently, especially with werewolves and vampires now. It's War Cadence. It's a three drop, one red, two generic enchantment. It says pay red and X. This creature, this turn, creatures can't block unless their controller pays X for each blocking creature he or she controls. And it can be done on other players' combats. So if somebody declares attack on another opponent, you can just make it cost X amount of mana for each creature they want to block with. You can just murder somebody with War Cadence. Like, you're not even involved in the combat. And now this person who's defending is just not going to be able to block this creature that's attacking them. This player that's attacking them. Oh, it's so good. It is such a political piece. It's so fantastic. And it makes sure that all your stuff gets through. It's great. Now, number two on our list is Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. It's a one black, two generic, one three vampire cleric. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. I don't know how else to say it, but that's really gross. <laughs> Double black, two, three generic. Creatures you control gain life until end of turn. On his own, just swinging, you're just going to just wreck somebody. Just even from the attack. You haven't even dealt combat damage yet, and they're, they're damned if they do, damned if they don't with their blocks. It's just really good. And number one on our list, <laughs> Alenda. The Dusk Rose. She is... Oh my goodness. I wish I had a copy. I wish I had a copy. She's a two generic, one black, one white lifelink. Whenever another creature you control, or a creature, any creature dies, put a 1-1 counter on Alinda the Dusk Rose. When Alinda dies, 
create X-1-1 white vampire creature tokens with lifelink where X is Alinda's power. Talk about just getting board presence. There's so many ways to reanimate in Mardu too. Like if you just wanted to throw an Alesha in here, you're going to be able to re reanimate half the deck with Alesha. So Alinda, grade A approval. But wait, we're not done. Let's talk about some combos that you should be running or could be running in your Edgar deck. All right, numero uno, Ad Nauseam and Teferi's Protection. This is, these are both at instant speed. Granted, it takes eight mana, but that's not hard in Commander. So Ad Nauseam, if you're not familiar, which I assume most of you are, is five. Two black, three generic, or instant. It says reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. Use life equal to its converted mana cost. May repeat this process any number of times. Okay, on its own, you just get to look at the top card. And decide if you want to keep going. Like, okay, I lost that much life. Eh, I don't want to keep going. Oh, yeah, I'll keep going. All right. But Tefri's Protection says one white, two generic. Until your next turn, your life total can't change and you have protection from everything. All permanents you control phase out. Your life total can't change. Oh. While they're phased out, they're treated as though they don't exist. They phase in before your next untap, before your untap during your next untap step. Okay, exile Teferi's Protection. Okay, so you only get one use out of Teferi's Protection in the game, but it says your life total can't change and you have protection from everything. All permanency control phase out. So nothing that you have is gonna be interacted with during this turn. Now that means that ad nauseum, whenever you go looking for whatever card it is you want or just draw half your deck, now your life total can't change. So Tefer, you wanna resolve Teferi's Protection first. So if you, I would suggest that you resolve Teferi's Protection before you even try casting Ad Nauseam, for the record. Teferi's Protection, get it out there, make your life total where it can't change, and then just draw half your deck or, you know, 30 cards, whatever you want to do. And it's just, like, you're going to draw, and, and you you can stop whenever you want to. So if you decide you want to draw 20, then you decide you want to draw 21, and that wasn't it, I want to draw 22, uh, okay, yeah, you can keep going. So you can just draw until you find the pieces you want. And the next combo is a tried and true, and it has a lot of variations, but it all has the same one piece, Exquisite Blood. So Sanguine Bond is a double black and three generic enchantment. It says whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Yes, please. On its own, just having lifelink vampires is good. It's dang good. Exquisite Blood makes it dumb. Okay, one black, four generic enchantment. Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. So whenever they're losing life from another player's combat, you're going to gain all that life. With Sanguine Bond and Exquisite Blood, you just need one opponent to lose one life and you kill everybody at the table. Just win. Because that person lost a life, you gained a life. Because you gained a life, that person loses a life. And the infinite thing continues. You're going to go as... You're not going to infinitely gain life because not everybody else has infinite life to lose. So you're just going to drain everybody else at the table and win the game as soon as one point of damage is done. Or one life lost. Or one life gained. Just needed some kind of trigger. And that same combo works with the Paven Empire, Defiant Bloodlord, and there's a several others that I can't even remember that this also works with. So this is super good, very fun combo. And it goes in basically everything because you've got all these vampires that do this like thing that are vampires on their own. But why not? Anyway. Thank you so much for coming out. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow on another Actiri Magic Channel video. <laughs> Where's my button? My button.